What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're going to look at notebook tabs for TTK Bootstrap, Kinter, and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at notebook tabs, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. I think it's awesome, over 150 pages that has all the Kinter Widget attributes. Get your free copy, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll shoot that right out to you. While you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com, and get all my courses and all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to be looking at notebook tabs with TTK Bootstrap. And this is what we're doing here. We've got these little tabs here. And on each one, we can have different stuff and we can style them different ways and all that good stuff. And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Batch Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other TTK Bootstrap videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got our basic starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it mb.py. And we're importing TTK Bootstrap. We've pip installed that obviously. And we're using the superhero theme. So let's come down here and create our notebook. Now these things are tabs, but it's called a notebook. So it's kind of weird. We're just going to name this my underscore notebook. And this is going to be a TB dot notebook. And it's TB here because we're importing TTK bootstrap as TB. And we just want to put this in our root window. And let's get this a boot style of and I'm going to give this a boot style of dark. Now you could use all your boot style colors for this primary, secondary, info, success, danger, dark light and all of that. So keep that in mind. And that's really all we need to do. Now let's my underscore notebook dot pack this guy. And I'm gonna give this a pad Y of like 20 to kind of push it down the screen a little bit. So the trick to this thing is you add frames as the tabs, right? So you create a frame, you put whatever you want in that frame, and then you add that frame to the notebook. So let's create a frame, I'm going to call it tab one, right? And this is going to be a TB dot frame. You can also use a regular Kinter frame, but it's going to be Kinter colored. So we want to use tb.frame and we want to put this in my underscore notebook. So I'm going to copy this and let's create a second one and I'm going to call it tab two. So we've got these two frames. Now we just need to put stuff in them. So uh, let's just play around with this. I'm going to create a label and it's going to be a label. We want to put it in tab one, right? So the text is going to say my awesome label, <laughs> right? It's a very awesome label. And you know, just for fun, let's give this a font of, and let's say Helvetica, and like a size of 18 to make it nice and big. And then we could just my underscore label dot pack this guy. And let's give this a pad Y of like 20, push it down screen inside the frame a little bit. And then we could play around with this. Let's create a, a text box. I don't know, We're, this is going to be my text. And it's going to equal a regular text box. Now notice this is not a TTK bootstrap text box, just a regular text box. That's fine. Uh, we can put it in tab one as well. And I don't know, let's give it a width of like 70 and a height of like 10, just to sort of expand it a little. And again, we can my underscore text dot pack this guy. And I'm going to give it a pad Y of like 10, maybe a pad X of 10 too, just for fun. Mix it up. And finally, let's create a button, just one little button. And this is going to be a TB dot button. We want to put it in tab one again and we want the text to say, click me or something like that. And let's give this a boot style of like danger and outline. So it'll be red outlined. Okay. And then finally, let's my underscore button dot pack this guy and give it a pad Y of like 20 to push it down the screen a little bit. So we've got our first tab, our first frame filled out. Now let's create our second one. And I'm not going to be as elaborate with the second one. Let's just create a label. In fact, I'm just going to come up here and copy this guy. And instead of calling it my label, let's call it my label one, or probably my label two would make more sense. And then this is going to say, this is tab two. Woo! All right? Capitalize that. And instead of putting it in tab one right here, let's put it in tab two. So, okay, that looks good. Now let's add our frames to the notebook. Now we haven't added them yet. So we've got this tab one and tab two. And to add them, we call my underscore notebook dot add. And then we just say, hey, tab one. And we want to give this some text. So I'm just going to say tab one. Let me copy this guy, paste it again, call tab two. And on this one, we're going to call tab two. Right? 
And that's it. So this text is the little text that's going to be on the little tab at the top of our notebook, the little panel thing. Uh, so there we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run python nb.py and boom, here we go. So we've got tab one and tab two. Inside of tab one, we've got our label, we've got our text field, we've got our button that doesn't actually do anything, but it looks good. In tab two, we have just some text that says this is tab two. Now, I've got this set to the dark theme for this notebook, and this looks pretty good, right? So when you click a tab, it highlights, otherwise it's sort of muted and dark. I like that, but you can use all of your boot styles. So if we come up here to where we define this thing, instead of dark, if we wanna say info, for instance, I don't really like the boot style colors with this, and you'll see why here. See, here it is. Now it looks like, tab two is highlighted. Like we've selected tab two, but we haven't. It's the one that hasn't been selected yet, but it's the one with color. So that doesn't really make sense. When we click on it, we're now on tab two. It says this is tab two, but tab one is the one that sort of looks like it's highlighted. So it's, it's very confusing. And it's not just this boot style, it's any of them that you pick. So if we change this to danger, for instance, we're gonna get the same sort of weird thing going on. The non tabbed tab is the one that's highlighted, which, you know, is kind of weird. So I sort of keep that in mind. I get around that myself by just using, you know, dark or light. Uh, it's still going to get the same thing with light. If we see here, let's look at this, but it's not quite as bad, right? We click on this. It's still in my mind, isn't great. Now you might be thinking, what if we call like danger outline? What happens there? Well, we get an error. So you can't do that. It would be kind of fun if you did, if you could, but uh, no. So I'll keep this at dark. Go ahead and save this. We'll take one more look at this. I think that looks pretty good and very neat. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. I think it's awesome. Over 150 pages with all the Kinter and TTK widget attributes. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address and I'll shoot that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Alder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.